shut her down, that would have an effect in Australia's attacking end. The first five minutes crucial, says Stacey Marinkovic. Jamaica with a centre pass. Australia with a 46-40 lead heading into this final 15 minutes. This the last pool match for these two sides. This about who finishes top of the pool. The winner of the pool will play second in the other group. We'll find out who that will be later as New Zealand face England. At the moment, though, 15 minutes of the best netball you're likely to see. First response from Jamaica. Khadija Williams back on a wing attack then for Jamaica. Yeah, I think she was the more accurate feeder to um, Fowler than Thomas was when she came on, so I guess that's the reason for the change. A reminder, we can have draws in the pool. These two have played out a draw in the Commonwealth Games before. Wood, though, just to make sure that Australia keep that gap. Wilson comes back into Ward, and there is Williams back on court. Oh, that's what she can do. Yeah, just going over all the mess and the fuss in front of her, using Fowler as a nice outlet. With the goal and take goal fence. No, with the goal fence, please. Beckford into Fowler. That combination back on court and ticking. And you're right, we know Williams can do this. She has the experience, a couple of bronze medals, fast five silver as well. Made her debut back in 2013 against England, so her quality back on court for Jamaica. Now that defensive work, Rob Wright was talking about it, got to put more pressure on them. Jodie Ann Ward coming through. This is the turnover that they needed, but they on attack. They just let it go. So frustrating. Frustrating is right for Jamaica. This is what Australia have done so well until that point. Ward wanted it. There's hunger, there's desire. Twice in the space of 30 seconds, Ward is lifting their side. Now, though, can they reward it? Dixon Rochester getting involved. In the latest instalment of Bruce versus Fowler. Fowler this time who gets the call. Instruction both players. Step up, keeper. Well then. Started with an intercept, it ends with a goal, and Jamaica go two up on this quarter. Great for Ward. Watson just not coming onto the ball, and Ward using that speed to run through and get that intercept. From centre pass to goal, the run of two on for Jamaica. There's the look from the captain. 4 1 up on the quarter. Back to within three overall. Now, what do Australia do? Every time they've been questioned in this match, they've just played it calm. A nice swing, but then it just means everybody's on the opposite side, so it takes time. Sterling is down. She's down. The post felt her on the way through. She's back up, but only in time to watch Guetta finish that one off. Can't take your eyes off it. Calls around court. It's a cacophony of noise and trainers squeaks and players yelling for it. And the desire to make it through to the post. Australia. Over to Australia. That is the attacking work that is Williams again back on court. She has lifted that side, giving them a little bit more structure, a little bit more accuracy on that pass. The chance of defence, defence again from inside the NEC arena. Have to go back to Ash Brazel. Wood out of that circle, blocked off getting back into it. Bueta all alone. Wood tries to find it, but a replay ball. That was coming. Was indeed. They were getting so close together, so tight. And that's 
when to make a put on the pressure. Keep them wide, Australia. This has a whiff of Jamaica in the second quarter about. Pull that one back to 16 all. They're 5-2 up on this quarter score. Right, and that change of bringing Williams back on. Just really got that attacking end going. Bruce on her front. Fowler up top. Drops in. And look at that. Uh, she was just willing that goal to go through. She gave it a little extra drop, even though Paul wasn't in her hand. Jamaica centre pass to go back within one. Over the top. Easy does it. The raw will tell you. Australia coach Stacey Marinkovic said a big first five minutes. It's a five minutes to the senior side. Go five goals down on the quarter score. One up overall. Now the defence, defence again. Boetta stretches. Boetta can't stick. To make a bench on their toes. Now they'll come from the back of the court to try and draw this level. Jamaica Trowan. Jamaica. This game is electric. It, it will be who takes this, which team can keep their heads in it. It's not just about your physical play, it's who has that mental toughness just to do the right things at the right time and not give away silly mistakes. Australia will make Jamaica take every second of their three on the way through. I think Fowler perhaps in the replay didn't have control of that. Let's bring the hustle, was the call from Fowler. She was ready to take that from her shooting partner. We are all level. That's 8-2 ahead on the quarter. A little bounce in, Beckford out. She'll know, she'll find Fowler. And Janelle Fowler, captain of Jamaica, takes them in front. She is the leading scorer. Suncorp Super Netball League. She is multiple times player of the season, really doing it for her squad in this game. Now Australia, the world number ones are swinging from behind. Watson, the captain, finds Wood. She shuts out the noise inside the arena. Steph Wood has been brilliant this match. Cool as a cucumber. 50 up for Jamaica. Halfway point during this final quarter. Watson, the Australia captain. Trying to calm things in front. Boetta on the dribble. That one, they said, it's OK. Just all ends up in that attacking end now for Australia. Yeah, it's just looking a little bit sticky and not as smooth getting it into the shooters having to play this ball around a lot it's just arms everywhere game plan working for Jamaica but you have to stand and applaud that from Steph Wood again just shuts everything else around her out and it's just her and the post 50-50 on the scoreboard and that's pretty much how this Contact match could go take. goal take obstruction Bustling and bustling and just forcing their way through Jamaica at the moment. Just getting these penalty calls and it's just getting them ever closer to the circle edge. Beckford continues. She's loving life. Oh, how we wish this was a match in the latter stages because we'd have extra time. But this one can draw up. Perhaps it's what they deserve. The Jamaican fans in the crowd will tell you they more than deserve this win. What well, the last five and a half minutes or so we're in for. Players do not want extra time, Caroline. <laughs> they won't have it today, don't worry. Ever. It's just us. 
feeling a bit spoiled, needing a bit more. Let's enjoy what's in front of us. 51 all. Williams just Williams head, up distribution of ball has been so on point. She's had a spell on the bench, come back on, and really injected some ambition, hope, and entertainment into this Jamaica side, which is the perfect combination. Great step from Dixon Watts. Let's see how she drew Weston out to the right. We gave Fowler even more space under the post. Brazel finds Bueta. She's come out for the cause. Wood's still in there. Bueta tries to get heads off by Jamaica. Set up, set up, set up. They forced them into it. They did, they did. They put so much pressure now on this attacking end for Australia. Look at Keeping those turns. Look at those turns. They haven't always, as you say, been on the reward end of it, though. And 12 for Jamaica. Well, they went 8-4 up in that first quarter. That seems like a lifetime ago, but they're about to nudge to clear. That's what it means to Jamaica. And as if you could sense it coming, Australia make a change. This a change to try and force their way back into it. Definitely, you're going to see Bruce's move to goal defence, see if she can give a little bit more hassle. Bedford and Clow, who I think half. a goalkeeper, whenever she's come on, Australia. has made an impact. Straight up. Well, the impact That's comes. Take on Shula and offside. Brazel has kept motoring and ticking through this. So Bruce out to goal defence. She was an option then for Maloney. Captain Watson back out to Maloney. Oh, it's back to Bruce. Just dreading to Wood. Still can't find Bueta. All forming a queue inside. They're, they're just giving up Jamaica this space to be able to come out. It's just been a little bit too tight playing close together. But the strength from Wood got that contact call and then she's quick off the mark. Well, they're back to within a goal, are Australia, but they are 13 6 down on the quarter. Their centre pass. This to tie us back up again. Look at where they're having to go back to. Every board is being used in this one. Wood. This is where they've been so successful. Jamaica. It's what was demanded of them in that quarter time. Just trying to keep everything out of that circle. She's the only currency you need in netball. Sterling is a joy. Payback time. Now what did Jamaica do? Over the top. She had hands in her face. She had body on body. Janelle Fowler emerges. What a game. Fowler does the job to reward Sterling and the shutout. One end to the other. This Jamaica side do not want to give this one up. They haven't beaten Australia here at the Commonwealth Games. They played in every game against one another. They are taking on the world number ones. And at the moment, they are heading to that historic first win. Just telling Fowler, everyone getting a little carried away perhaps. You've got to allow that ball to go. And that's what Australia need now. You've got to be quick in the transition. A little pat on the back from Maloney to Wood. Oh, on the back up. Weta was angry in that rebound. She wasn't giving that one up. No, she wasn't. So key. But what I've noticed, the times when Jamaica are playing, as we see that great lift from... Wilson, but taken from Greta. When they're that down their perfect. bench end, if the defensive end of it next to their bench, they almost, they really lift their game. It's like they can feel the talk and the noise from their bench and it just takes them up another leg. Yeah. Maybe something for the other Don't teams to think about when they're picking her. ends of court or first centre pass. Will Australia have come back? They've been toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They've swung blow-to-blow. -blow. And now, surely this one is gone from them. Three-goal lead. 
we know Australia can be quick in the transition, but there's no one there in the circle. They're being marshaled up court. This defensive work from Jamaica. Throw every superlative at it. And as much as Australia respond now, it's the clock who's their greatest enemy. Two goals down, last 45 seconds. All Jamaica need do is keep it in hand. Play it around court. This is just a pool match. How lucky are we as what to come this weekend? As the medals come falling, will it be a golden one for Jamaica? Beckford. Bouncing again. She's waiting. Delay as much as you like. They can play it around. They know the win is going with them. Traction. Deck outside. Last few seconds.